Hello, this is Dale, and this is my nightly video blog for Sunday, May 22nd. Well, tomorrow we want to get at, actually we want to get in a put with ABT. If it uh, continues to the downside, we'll take a look at that. We're going to take our profits, our very profitable trade in Heinz, and get out uh, uh, before earnings. And uh, I'm going to get out of the silver contract, and, and uh, we've made uh, some good money very fast on silver. It's been a quick uh, drop. Uh, it's down around the 38% Fibonacci, and, and I'm just a little nervous about it. And I don't like to be nervous about any trading that's putting emotions into it. And when I felt that, that uh, little bit of nervousness around there, I said, hey, it's time to get out, take our profits, and say thank you very much. Put them in the bank. Okay, so uh, remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell. The Pacific Trade Academy is not a brokerage firm. What we teach our students in the program are not trading recommendations. Our instructions for educational purposes only. Let's go over to Thinkorswim and take a look at these three things. Uh, the first one we want to take a look at is uh, ABT. Uh, you can see ABT is at the very top of the regression channel on the plus or minus one standard deviation. It's also right at the top of this resistance area right here uh, where we had a previous high over here. Um, it appears like uh, we're heading, heading down on ABT and we've got uh, we tried to get in it earlier, and I got out uh, because it didn't uh, cooperate. It went against me. That's that's no problem. That's part of trading. Get get out quickly, cut our losses short. Well, now it looks like we had a ready abort, ready set. Okay, Friday was a set day. Now Friday was a bullish day, as you can see by the candle. Therefore, on Monday I only want to get a put. If it's trading down around this area right here, let me come up here and grab a grab an oval real quick and kind of put uh, the area that I'm thinking I would probably uh, probably want to do that. Whoops, I'm not, not going to be able to do it. But anyhow, right around the 53.3. If it goes down around 53.3, uh, and in order to do that, it would have to drop uh, about 20 points. If it drops about 20 points, that is a continuation. We want to go ahead and get a put on ABT. Let's take a look at the put we would get. I'd go out probably uh, not as far as November, but August. Go out to the August. It's sitting at 53. Uh, add 5. and it's Probably uh, pushing right around. You know, you got a choice. Either the the 57.5 or the 60. Let's just take a look at um, some open interest on that and see. Well, they're both pretty low, both pretty low on the open interest. I think you'll be able to get in there, um, and by the time we're getting ready to exit, we should have uh, more contracts than that. But I, it, it, they're about even. I'm gonna I'm gonna say going with the 57 and a half is the way I would lean. Um, so that's what we would do on ABT. Let's take a look at Heinz. And uh, we are definitely going to get out of Heinz. We talked about it in the Friday webinar. And I actually exited at 3 o'clock with uh, uh, 100, 120% gain in Heinz. Some of the uh, mentees had as high as 130%. That's awesome. This has been a very nice trade, about a month and uh, two weeks into that about a month and a half. Uh, it's coming up on earnings. The earnings aren't due until Thursday, but uh, we had such a strong week last week, uh, there's no reason to sit around and, and wait for any pullbacks. Let's get out and take our profits now. Okay, and the last one is uh, silver. Uh, you know, I was talking that I was a little bit nervous about silver. Don't like to be nervous. Here's, I put a Fibonacci retracement uh, from the low here to this extreme high, which is plus or minus two standard deviation. This is silver has far outperformed gold, so uh, you know when it pulled back, it was only natural that it would come flying down. Well, it's come down to the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement, 
And uh, when it did that, it bounced up a little bit. Then it came back down, bounced up a little bit, came down, and it's kind of sitting sideways. Um, uh, I, I don't like to be nervous. I don't like to have any emotions in the market. This one makes me nervous. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, let's see what how we did on silver on a very very short time. That uh, we got in at uh, 590, 590, and it's up to uh, 1007. Let me just do a quick calculation on that. That's 590 divided by 590. That's uh, uh, a 70 uh, 71 percent gain in uh, a very very short period of time. And I'm going to take my profits and get out. And that's my blog for tonight. Uh, hope everybody has a good week, uh, good trading, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.